Hello there, I'm Joanna Jackson and I'm the author of four books now, Romantic Fictions. Uh, my first book, which is Love Twist as Life Turns. My second was Kelly's Dreams. And the third one, Promises, Secrets, Danger. And then Amelie's Journey, which is my latest book. So I received an email from Sandy Fish from the Heartland Book Festival. Uh, Sandy organises the festival and she also runs a Facebook page called HBF dash the bookshelf um, and the book review bubble on YouTube. So um, Sandy asked me to record this video uh, to answer some questions that she wanted to ask me. So um, I'm going to start now. Here we go. Um, why do I like writing romance? Well, um, good question, actually. Um, I suppose really it's because I've always kind of been attracted to romantic fiction and uh, you know romantic comedies, uh, movies and things like that. Um, and when I was younger, I used to read Mills and Boons and all those kind of books. But I think mainly it's because most people, um, if they're really honest with themselves, are looking for love and uh, enjoy reading about love and um, hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. Um, but uh, and, and happy endings, of course, always a bonus. I love a happy ending myself. Um, but sometimes you can't always have a happy ending and sometimes you have to have a few twists and turns and things like that. So, um, which keeps it a little bit more exciting and a little bit more real, I think, as well. So a bit more like real life. But um, I suppose really, yeah, that's that's why I like writing um, romantic fiction. So next question. Um, do I have a favourite book of the books I've written? Um, well, a very good question. And I suppose most people would expect me to say my latest book, um, which was the Amelie's Journey. But actually... Um, Although I suppose, you know, because as you're, when you're a writer and the more books you write, the better your writing becomes, people would say that that's probably my best written book. Um, but my best, my favourite storyline is really um, Kelly's Dreams, which is um, the yellow one. I love the bright cover. Um, so Kelly's Dreams is uh, a story that involves past lives. Um, and I'm quite a spiritual person, so I'm always interested in past lives and interested in people's stories. And I was kind of given this, uh, the bones of this storyline in a, in a sort of a spiritual moment of my own. Um, and I was kind of given the idea that um, the bones of the story that I was being given was a past life that I'd actually lived myself. And um, my husband was also in that past life. So I suppose really um, that's my most favourite story out of the ones that I've written. So, um, but I'd be interested to hear what your favourites are and why you like them. Um, it's always interesting. Um, so my next question was, do I wake up in the middle of the night and jot down ideas? So um, I have to be really honest and say, no, generally, no. I think I might have done that once or twice in the past. But for me... Um, I sleep well <laughs> most of the time I sleep well so I sleep sort of eight to nine hours um, so I don't really um, wake up and, and write things down um, but I know that lots of people do write in that way and, and carry a notebook around with them all the time but it's just not the way that I write so um, so no um, I tend to be sleeping most of the time <laughs> through the night <laughs> Um, so the next question was, um, what am I most proud of during the lockdown? Um, well, we're in our third lockdown now in the UK. And um, I think really for me, um, the thing I'm most proud about is uh, the amount of personal growth um, I feel that I've experienced over the past year. Uh, my husband and I, both of us, have been listening to lots of motivational speakers on YouTube I think YouTube has been an absolute godsend and probably saved a lot of people's sanity. Um, and we've been inspired by some really great speakers, um, people like Steve Harvey, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, Denzel Washington, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was actually quite um, surprised um, at how inspiring he is. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza, an awesome man, um, really has helped me a lot. And um, meditation wise, Pura Raza, I really loved her meditations. Um, Deepak Chopra is uh, just awesome. Um, and uh, I love I love the Deepak Chopra meditations too. So yeah, so we meditated, we exercised a lot. My husband is, normally is a bit of a gym fanatic and plays golf and, you know, is quite sporty in that way. Um, uh, but uh, obviously in the lockdowns, 
nothing's open so you you have to exercise at home apart from going out for a walk or something but so he created his own exercise routine and actually still does it even when the gyms did reopen briefly in between lockdowns um he still continued with his exercising um and me um i dance around the living room like a lunatic in the mornings um not every morning but most mornings have a little bit of a dance routine I mean, you know that thing of dance like nobody's watching well i really and truly hope <laughs> Um, they would laugh a lot, I think, if they did uh, see me uh, prancing around the room. But um, it just is a bit of a feel-good factor, and it just keeps you um, keeps you a little bit fitter, um, gets you off the sofa um, or out off of the chair, whatever. Um, but yeah, that that's kind of um, what we've been doing. So meditating, exercising, and listening to motivational speakers, it's been amazing. So I feel as though I've grown personally, and my husband feels the same. So I think we're both really proud of that. Um, so that's kind of been our, our lockdown journey, if you like. Um, and the uh, last question that Sandy sent me, um, so not too many questions. I was expecting more. Um, how do uh, you get hold of my books? Uh, well, I do have a web page, um, which is joannajackson.co.uk. And that's Joanna spelt with an H. Um, and I've also got all the social media pages, so Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. And um, I do now have a YouTube channel as well. So there's a couple of videos on there, um, which you might like to have a look at. Um, and you may find that um, well, this video certainly will get um, uploaded to the um, HBF bookshelf on Facebook, I'm sure. Um, but I think Sandy may even put it on her own YouTube channel, which is the Book Review Bubble. There's some great videos on there, actually. You should pop along and have a look because Sandy's quite funny. She's hilarious sometimes um, with the videos. I just love all of her mannerisms and everything, the way she speaks when she's doing her reviews. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, that's that's it. That's me. So um, I hope that you uh, do get to read some of my books. If you do, thank you very much. Um, if you have any uh, comments or if you'd like to leave a review, I always love hearing reviews because they help us to grow as writers. And I think all all writers uh, appreciate um, when somebody takes the time to make a review. So it's really lovely. So thank you very much if you if you do decide to do that. Um, you can also track me down on Goodreads. Actually, I just uh, just recently joined Goodreads. So um, yeah. Um, have a great week, read lots of books, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and maybe I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.